I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. Hey everybody, this is Lee of the Lee Williams Show. Checking in with you today with another video. How you doing today? So today I am talking about doing a live unboxing of some items that I bought from the Goddess Detox. Now, some of the items I got for my birthday, and so when I saw them come in the mail, I said, when I get my stuff, I'm gonna do a live unboxing. Now, if you've been on my channel, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been on my channel for a while, um, you know that my channel is more like um, a variety channel. I don't really focus on one thing specifically. However, I do have a calling for alternative health items and and, and, and self-help and, 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 and doing everything, tapping into your own power, using your own resources to improve your overall health and well-being and one of my favorite 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 pastimes to kind of do that and kind of get my mojo back was to go to the jeju sauna okay i've done so many videos on the jeju sauna i don't know maybe some of them been taken down but i know i at least got two videos and I believe one of my videos was very instrumental in getting basically an explosion where the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta film there and also the Braxton Family Values because when I did my video, it was very popular at the time. It's older now, but it was very popular at the time. And these stage, these these outlets had not utilized the Jeju sign, so I believe that I led them to the Jeju sign. Now, if you don't know about the Jeju sign, it's a bathhouse in, um, well, the outskirts of Atlanta, Georgia, in Duluth, Georgia. So if you're familiar with Atlanta, just look up, um, and it's spelled, well, I have it written here, but it's spelled J E J U. Sana S U A N A, and some people might call it Jeju, J E J U, um, Spa S P A, in Duluth, spelled D U L U T H, Georgia. So, um, beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, now I've already talked about. Yeah, just just go check out that other video because I don't want to muddle it up with that. But the point is that we're in the middle of a pandemic. I personally have been self-quarantining it's been a year now and i have really really restricted everything in my life and talk about a 180 i mean i was the girl that was always out in the streets okay um i was a um well i am a social media uh, manager i'm a uh, event planner um i'm a definitely a socialite um, I tend to be out before the pandemic about three, four nights a week with various things, okay? So, and, you know, I, and I ate out every day, so, but I had to change all of that. I mean, I went to the Jeju sauna. I went, tried to go every three months, um, a couple times a year. Took my family, took my friends, um, took my co-workers, okay? <laughs> and some parts of you have to be fully nude, okay? Um, but look, I'm mature. We're all mature adults. Um, and I believe at this point, we all know we got the same thing. And ain't nobody there for that, okay? We're there for overall health and wellness and one of the best things that i will do there is the hip bath okay let me tell you this hip bath was a lifesaver for me okay it helped me um you know when you first get your um you know your monthly friend right uh your monthly cycle 
um, sometimes you might start out with all that brown blood, right? And, you know, it's almost like the pre-period before your period. And I just just didn't like that because it, it, it like it was it was like it was there from the last time you had your cycle and it just never went away right um and i found out the hip bath helps with this not only that it um it's a good aftercare so if you gave birth or you had um you know maybe a miscarriage or something you can wait um for a little bit um you know and and then get you one of these hip baths to kind of you know refresh your um you know rejuvenate your vagina and also i i also have um used it it helps with indigestion um because i do tend to eat on the go a lot um, probably not now, but then I did eat a, eat on the go a lot. Now I eat all the time since the <laughs> it's a pandemic, but that's that's a totally different topic, okay? Uh, but uh, you know, it, it helps you with the uh, colds, the flu. I mean, I can literally have a cold, right? And I can get on the hip um, hip bath, and I promise you that steam will help break up the. Um, the uh, congestion in my chest and my JJ. Um, it like I've gone in one time with a stiff neck after getting on that hip bath. My neck was no longer stiff. Um, it helps tighten your honey pot. Um, it helps um, just refresh, honey. It's like giving your honey pot. Uh, just the most succulent orange and just <laughs> it just opens you up honey okay and while I cannot promise it can definitely help a lot of people have reported that it helps with fibroids um, uh, helps dissipate the fibroids um, and it also can help you with infertility issues okay and um i personally know that it can help with infertility issues based on my story um but that's another topic for another day ladies but today i just wanted y'all to see the fabulous and marvelous things that i got for my detox that now i have to start doing at home isn't that great but what I'm happy about is that now I've taken my power back, okay? Because I've been out from the Jeju sauna. The last time I went there was like February of 2020, okay? And it has been a long and tedious route road without going to Jeju sauna. I would go there for the body scrub, the um body polish the massages um get my hair washed the um the, the steam room the the hot tub just 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 and it's a 24-hour place so you go in there you pay your money it's good for 24 hours so I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my hair here you know my hair is needs to be redone but I'm just going to get through this, okay, the best way I can. Um, so, let me show y'all what I got. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to really, maybe I will open it. But I kind of don't want to open it because I don't want to get it dirty. But um, you could go online and kind of open it and see what it looks like inside. But this is the um, Queen's Throne um, Luxury vage uh, Vaginal <laughs> Vagina. What did I say? Uh, luxury Vaginal Steaming Seat. Best paired with our Queen's Vaginal Steam. 
and this is made by Goddess Detox. Okay, and you you get um you boil two to three cups of spring water, which I did buy some spring water, and then you have these packets, and I'm going to do a live demonstration for you guys. Um, but I'm not going to open it because um, it might be some time before I actually use it um, because I'm not able right now. Okay. Just read between the lines. i um, not able to do it right now. <laughs> so um, I want to keep everything. You know, we are in the middle of a pandemic. I do not want to over um, open up things because I'm protecting it. So and then here's the packets here. Yeah, let's see. Oh, by the way, I didn't get any sleep, so that's why I keep yawning. But let's check it out. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, honey. I got some good packs in here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's one pack. Um, says Luxury Herbal Vaginal Steam. Self-love inspired wound care for every woman. Okay. So it looks like I got three of them in here. So I don't know um, how it's really going to go because um, I'm not going to be able to open it. But I'm just going to show you the gist. Now, this is like a little book right here, which I didn't realize it came with. But it looks like it's pretty self-explanatory um and it says i'm gonna read it real quick a vaginal steam is a process that involves a woman sitting over a pot of, or bowl of simmering herbs allowing the steam to travel up the vaginal canal to her uterus this indigenous practice has been done by women women worldwide for centuries it is done for medical and healing purposes Typically, the herbs used in a vaginal steam encourages the natural shedding of the uterus, allowing old matter to be re removed and new energy to flow into the uterus. Um, okay, it says, Our Queen Steam is our luxury herbal vaginal steam made with a special blend of unique herbs to aid in your physical, spiritual, emotional cleansing. So I'm going to do another video. Um... This is just, I'm, okay, so let me read you some of the, the tips. Um, removing, um, okay, what are the benefits of the queen steam? You remove old matter from the vagi uh, vagina and the uterus, um, encouraging blood flow. I, read, I wear glasses, by the way. <laughs> I really can't see anymore, okay? Um, so just bear with me. Um, encouraging blood flow and energy movement in the uterus. Increase in vaginal wetness and vaginal tightness. Yes, vaginal wetness. I can wholeheartedly attest for that. And vaginal tightness. Yes, yes, it, it does help with that. Now, I haven't really noticed that per se, okay? But I just know that this is a um, spoken benefit that's not just talked about by Queen's Detox. This, I've done research on the hip bath long before I've even known about Goddess Detox. And these are some of the things. It, it's an ancient, ancient practice that was used in India, Africa, and China um, that I know of. It was used by um, a king in China. Um, so it's, it's used by men and women. So it could you know like it helps women it can also help men um with their um you know their anus area and um you know also with the digestion and the clearing of the colds and stuff so yeah also it allows the benefits of the herbs to get right to the vagina so by you sitting on this pot sit 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 simmering it's just going up having a party honey um it promotes fertility it regulates your menstrual cycles now i can't say that it, it it got rid of that brown blood that i was talking about 
It regulated my menstrual cycles when I was doing it more. I I just felt just better. Okay, I have been doing it for five years. Okay, and yes, um, it decreases your menstrual cycle pain. I can attest to that. I'm one of those women that have very very painful cycles. Just 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 horrible. Okay, um, heavy. Um, to the point where I thought I had fibroids, um, but I got tested. I was told I didn't have fibroids, although I have a lot of the symptoms, okay? Um, but I've been checked by, um, a very good doctor, and she was looking, because she was like, you know, I did have a lot of symptoms, but she didn't see anything. Um, having a spiritual and an emotional release libido increase okay so you should um like right now i'm on my cycle so i can't do any of this now you always want to do it at least so you want to keep up with your calendar and you want to do it in my um based on the research that i did um at least five days before and after your period so like if my period goes off you know um, let's say Friday, then 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 I would want to wait five days after that, okay? And then you know you do your steaming, and you could do it you could do it once a month, you know, um, you know, um, you could do it once a month, and it, it'd be better to do it like five days after your period. Then that way it's gonna help release that old blood, and and just it's gonna refresh you and. It's going to really start helping you with the cramps. Because, I, I mean, I had cramps. They're not as bad now, but I had cramps to the level where I would call out from work. Like, I, I just couldn't do it. Um, um, I would have these, just these ripping feelings that I was just in a lot of pain. I would go to the emergency room. I would take Tylenol 800. I would take everything, right? Um, but really, nothing really helped only thing that really helped was these um, hip baths, really, hand to God. And also, um, like, if you get, like, um, like, I like to drink a lot of warm liquids. You know, they're very soothing to the abdomen. And then um, I like to, um, like, sometimes I'm too lazy to do the rest. But um, a hot water bottle, you know and you place it over your abdomen or you could get a uh heating pad you know roll it up in a towel you know put it over your abdomen or you could take um now i don't know how to do this y'all research it but some people take some rice um or make a rice pack okay i personally don't recommend it i'm gonna be honest i don't recommend it um because i feel like there's some residual um burning going on with the rice pack and you can burn the shit out of yourself okay um and the same thing applies with the uh heating pad you won't burn yourself that bad but you still want to maybe roll it up in a t-shirt or a towel just to give yourself a little insulation so you won't have that much direct heat and also you could burn yourself with a hot hot pad um, not the, I mean the uh, hot water bottle. If you put scalding hot water in there, so obviously use common sense. Okay, um, don't do anything that's going to injure or hurt yourself because the, the scalding is forever. Okay, all right. So now this is the best part, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm so sorry that my energy is kind of like blah. That's because I haven't been getting any sleep. Okay, just no sleep. But that's a whole nother issue and a story for another day. But I am going to get the best part. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. Like, let me put this down. Let me, I'm just so excited. Like, this is big. Okay, so. Let me, uh, 
Let me um, open my thing. I got my switchblade. And I want to open it up. Kind of see so I don't kill myself. Or cut myself. So I'm going to open it up, y'all. I'm so excited. Look, y'all. I'm excited. Okay. Okay. Thank you, universe, for bringing me this product. Okay, so unboxing my new um, goodies. Okay, so we can see what I got. Okay, I got some more vaginal steam because I wanted to make sure I had enough. And I wanted to do, you know, more than one, you know, treatment. Then I got these Goddess um, Vaginal Detox Pearls. I got two treatments of those. Because um, I wanted to make sure I did a full cleanse. And I got the Queen Tinge Yoni Vaginal Steam Vaginal Steaming Gown. Okay, now I got one hand. Let me see if I can use one hand. Okay, wait. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to do it one hand. Okay. Uh oh. I feel it. Feels good. Feels good. I feel it. It feels so good. Feels silky. Uh -oh. Okay, there it is. Now this is the drape that you put on around yourself. And this is to protect your body and Kind of trap the steam in. Let's see if we can see that logo a little better. Purple royalty. Well made. Feels heavenly. Like it's like a. It's like it's it's like silk or satin. It must be satin because silk um, is very unforgiving, but it's very luxurious feeling. Um, it makes me want to just put it on forever. Um, it's a lined garment. Um, pretty decent mate. You know, though it has some hanging strings and what have you, but um, pretty decent quality. Especially the fabric. It's long, so I'm short, so it'll <laughs> it'll probably drape me like really good. So you you're supposed to have it on. Um, so it has these two armholes. So it comes up to here, like here, you know, and then it's just, just the color, the purple color. It's gorge, gorge, absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to show y'all those things. And I can't wait to try these pearls. Let me see. If I open it up, will I see? Uh-uh. Oh. Okay. So these are the two goddess detox pearls. 
Move right out of my seat a little better. Uh, Detox Pearls. Has a little applicator. Another little book. By the owner. I really appreciate her. I just appreciate this so much. Like, y'all just don't know, like, how every, well, you know, because you're living in, you're living in the same world like me, but I, I guess I feel like I kind of had to go a little more extreme with my social distancing, but one thing that really crushed me was not being able to go to Jeju Sana. So now I'm going to be doing it in my own home. The comfort of my own home. And I will be doing a live detox. Um, I will be. I feel like and my body, I definitely need to clean. Yeah. And I have been used to going like a couple times a year. So I was able to kind of move old matter along, but now it's like stuck. <laughs> so. Um, I'm gonna work this and I am just so, 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 so looking forward to this, this, this detox. Now, ladies, and I guess I'll say gentlemen, but if there's a gentleman that has tried this product, um, I want to I wanna encourage guys to try this because um, obviously you would want to kind of maybe, um, you know, maybe adjust the temperature um, somewhat, maybe not, you know, because <laughs> women, I don't know if y'all know this, but maybe you know it, maybe you don't, but um especially if you're a man but a lot of women especially black women now, i don't know if it's all women but i know black women because i am a black woman we love hot water okay we absolutely love we will stand in scalding hot water okay we will burn ourselves in water okay not to the point where we're gonna get third degree burned but it's real close okay that's how much that's how much we love hot water so I would, if a man is going to use this, I would recommend kind of using it. Let it cool down a little less than extremely hot. So you, you have boiling hot, extremely hot, and then just hot. I would just make sure it would be just hot, okay? Um, even if you had to pour a little cold water in it, okay? Um, but you want to get it warm very warm because um and you you do want it to be hot just, you know maybe not extremely hot because i don't know how your jewels would react to that um but it does help men you know your your anal regions okay so it can help men, men and women just the same so I would really encourage y'all to get it because y'all y'all might be sleeping on this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go because obviously I am extremely tired. It shows all over my face. Um, but I want to thank y'all for watching. You know, I, I told y'all I'm working hard to come back to my channel full time. Um, I've it's It's been troubled a troubling time this this last 
you know, starting March 2020, I really got taken through some changes, okay? And the thing with me, I had already been dealing with a lot of changes. So it was like, it was just like, you know, it's kind of like, March was actually my going to be my recovery period from enduring a lot of trauma and stress in my life. And then it was like even more, okay? So um, it's it's been taking a toll on me. It, it has taken a toll on me. But I believe that I'm working very hard. Um, I'm working very hard to kind of come back to myself. Um, I do have a therapist and she has been helping me uh, quite a bit. Um, unfortunately, um, I need a lot of therapy, so um, she's doing the best she can. But, um, but yeah, no, I, I need a lot of therapy. So, But I'm glad that I'm getting the therapy that I need. And um, I, I'm glad to have the opportunity to even get therapy. But um, I'm working hard to come back to myself, okay? Um, and I'm one of those people, I didn't, you know, I didn't really, I, I just, you know, I don't acknowledge certain things. Look, I take, I take the punches and I keep on moving, right? But, um, lately I realized I needed to address some things professionally. So that's what I've been doing. And God has given me the courage and the strength to do so. Um, so it's it's been it's it's been a journey so but these self-care regiments um which was actually recommended you know by my therapist you know she told me to do more self-care and um kind of just kind of take a day where i only did stuff for me you know um and i did that but i didn't make it a concerted effort so now I'm going to, it's basically going to be a routine, an ironclad routine. Because I do feel a lot better when I do my self-care routine. I normally do my self-care, you know, my self-care Sundays, you know. Um, I always do something, whether it's maybe that day I'll do like a micro, microdermabrasion, you know, like a, a, a mild one. Um, or I might do my hands, like I might do. Um, like the satin hands treatment, or I might go get a manicure, pedicure, um, or you know, I get my hair done once, like once a week. I mean, not once a month. Get my nails done, nail, nail and manicure, manicure, pedicure about once a month. Um, but where I struggle is my insomnia. It's, it's yeah, I gotta work on that. But um, I, I thank y'all, you know, for sticking with me. Those who have been with me, um, I've been on this channel since 2008. I think I started making videos. and Yeah, I think I started making videos in 2008. I can't remember, but I've been on this channel for a while. So um, I just you know, ask that you continue to support me, you know, pray for me. Um, I am the strong friend um, that got down on her luck, okay? So, um, I just, um, I just know that through God, anything is possible. Um, and, you know, but you also need to know when to ask for help, which is something that I never did before. I tried to handle everything on my own, but I noticed that I can't do that, okay? Um, strong friend does need help. So, thank you for watching. And you have a great day. Bye-bye.